Got a hiccup. Actually. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Honest Sauce and Spicy Stuff Reviews. I'm Lang, and today we're going to be getting into some hot sauce. I get into Kickstarter quite a bit, maybe a little too much, and um, I backed a campaign that was going by a small, small uh, sauce company called Black Eyed Susan Sauces. And they were updating, I believe, their facility so that they could uh, do bigger quantities and expand their line, I believe. <clears throat> but anyway, I got three of their sauces. They have, I think they only have three. I could be wrong. Maybe they have more. I've only seen the three. I'll leave the link to their website in the description, so check them out. Um, but we have three of their sauces. And if you're ready, I think we should go ahead and get into it, right? Okay, we have three of their sauces. The first of which is Scotch Berry Cove hot sauce. Followed by Death by Chocolate and then Trinidad Time Bomb. Now, of the Trinidad Time Bomb and the Death by Chocolate, I'm really not sure which is going to be hotter. Um... I'm not seeing like a heat scale or anything on these. So the one the one has chocolate habaneros, which I believe is the hottest of the habaneros. And this says um, yellow seven pot mash, which consists of yellow Trinidad seven pot peppers. And I believe those are actually hotter than habaneros so we're gonna say this is the hottest one i guess we're gonna find out so let's not waste any more time and let's get into tasting these sauces you guys like my suspenders they were a gift kind of digging the suspender life all right the first one we have up is the scotchberry cove and um it says a pirate's life was not an easy one. Free from foreign rulers, this unruly bunch sought to create something for themselves. The choice to be independent came with inherent risks, requiring a safe hiding place. One such place, Scotchberry Cove, was a hideout only known to a few and a heavily guarded secret. This aptly named hot sauce has copious amounts of strawberries, yielding a touch of tartness with a hint of garlic and ginger. Yellow scotch bonnets and subtle heat with a refreshing lemon verbena finish. Lemon verbena finish? Anyway, a must-have for every table. The secret it is out. And check it out, it's lot 41804. You know you're getting serious when you get a lot number. Like that, separation is natural, shake well. Oh, look at Oyster Recovery Partnership. All right, let's look at the ingredients. We got strawberries, onions, apple cider vinegar, scotch bonnet pepper mash, lemon juice, garlic powder, kosher salt, paprika, ground ginger, and lemon verbena. Bam. Falls Church, Virginia. Let's get into this, man. So I do have these tasting spoons. I think I'm saving these for like the really super hot sauces, extracts and stuff like that because they're not quite as big as this spoon. And I really want to get a big boost of the flavor and stuff from these sauces. So I'm going to stick with the big one for now for these. And the first one we have up is uh, Scotchberry Cove. 
as you can see, it, um, it's got a nice color. Um, it looks kind of thin. It doesn't look like super, super thick, you know. You can see this stuff. It's not like it's super, it might be creamy, but I see like particles and stuff in there, so. So the audio um, was getting bad, so I'm going to fill in now. Uh, Scotchbury Cove is amazing. Um, it's it's a really good consistency. It's on the thicker side, as you can see, and the color looks really nice. There's a couple of uh, small particles in there, but I wouldn't say it was chunky. It was rather more on the smooth side. Um, and you could smell everything in the room. You could smell all the spices and just the deliciousness that was getting ready to, to come my way. So, um, yeah, the, the, the overall first impression is really good on this. All right. You can totally smell the ginger and mostly ginger. I smell and the sweet, is that the lemon verbena I'm smelling? Verbena I'm smelling? That smells It's pretty good. I, I don't really get a, a big whiff of pepper or anything with this, so I'm cu kind of curious. And they were a little bit down on the ingredients list. It wasn't like they were first or second. So, anyway, this is Scotchberry Cove by Black Eyed Susan Spice Companies. Cheers, everybody. I like that. I was worried it was going to be like too much strawberries. Oh man, that's pretty good. Uh, the heat isn't really banging me or anything. It's really manageable. All right, like let's get into the review of this. This is really tasty. I, I, I really, really like this sauce. So for the dread factor, I'm gonna give it a three because I wasn't really intimidated by this sauce at all. Um, but the first impressions of the sauces uh, of that was was uh, good. I liked the color. I liked the consistency of it. It smelled really good. Um, it wasn't too thin, you know. It was kind of it was really nice. I really I really liked the the first impressions of the sauce were really good. So I'm gonna give him an eight. The the first initial impressions that that I got from the the the, the after the initial taste was it was really tangy, um, not overpoweringly tangy, just unsuspectingly tangy in the way that it was. It was really good. Um, I think there was apple cider vinegar in here, right? Yeah, apple cider vinegar came through it was really good um and then all the other flavors were right there right behind it um and not like lagging behind i mean r literally you got like a little bit of berry you got like the ginger the garlic um it was just super good uh so for for taste i'm gonna give this sauce an overall rating of and just just everything. It wasn't too salty, which I just appreciate that so much. You don't know. And everything just seemed to work really well with this sauce. It seems like they really like thought about it. And it was pretty balanced, I would say, as far as like nothing overpowered anything else. And the heat, the heat level, I would personally like it to be a little hotter, but we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, so for taste, I'm going to go ahead and give them a 7.5. And as far as the heat goes, it really wasn't anything for me. It came on initially just like on my tongue. It was nice warm feeling. It didn't like, there was a little bit of the stinginess like you get from like scotch bonnets and habaneros. But um, overall, it was a really nice pleasant. I mean, I could probably do this whole bottle in like a sitting doing like something like dipping chips in it, you know, and just scooping it up and eating it. It's that good and not that hot. So um, for heat, they're getting a one. Now, can you use this? Would I be able to use this for a whole meal? 
Definitely. So there's no question about it that the usability of this is the entire thing. So you can eat it a whole entire meal and not get burnt out on it or have it overpower you at any point. So it's definitely a 10. And the cost, I looked up the cost and it was like $9.99 a bottle on their website. And which is to me, that's kind of on the lower end of, of small batch sauces. So I think that's a good thing. That would that makes me more likely to buy it. Um, how available is it? I'm not sure since it's small batch. I mean, it's numbered. They're numbered. I mean, I don't know like what, how big of a demand they have. Are they going to sell out? Are they not going to sell out? What's their shipping like? You know, this took me a while to get off a of Kickstarter, but that could have been just because it was a Kickstarter campaign. You know, but I would buy it again. So. I'm going to give them, for the repeatability score, a 7. And that gives them a total score of 36.5. And if we average that out, the average review ranking becomes a 6.08. Next up to bat, we are looking at... Gosh, I hope this isn't the hottest one. We're looking at um, Death by Chocolate. Well, let's see what, uh, what we got going on here first, huh? For our flagship sauce, we focus on our favorite pepper, the chocolate habanero, which is, like us, a little different. It is one of the oldest and hottest varieties of habanero. Although it takes a little more time to grow, it has one of the most unique flavors in this pepper family. We believe this uniqueness demands a delicious sauce, so we enhance the chocolate habanero with coca, coca, or is it cacao? <laughs> I'm not sure. As a nod to its Mesoamerican roots, we know you'll appreciate it as much as we do. Um, and it's lot two, lot two of. Lot two, I don't know if that's a two one three oh three or what. Um, and also Oyster Recovery Partnership again. Let's see what we got in the ingredients. We got apple cider vinegar, apples, actual apples, carrots, canned peaches, chocolate habanero mash, molasses, garlic, kosher salt, cacao, coca. I oh my God, how do you say that? But why is that throwing me for such a mad? Um, spices and natural smoke flavor. And if I haven't said it right yet, they're like totally natural. And that like, that puts them ahead of the pack in a lot of ways for me. So just putting that out there. And the label's dope. All right, let's see what we got. Now we got the uh, Death by Chocolate. Coming up, you can see it's got a really nice chocolate color. Um, and the consistency is really nice looking so far in the bottle. I mean, you can see that it's kind of thicker, maybe a little more pulpy. So uh, let's give this a try. I do appreciate the uh, peel. top I do ooh ooh that's nice looking it looks like a chocolate sauce or like a, a cream a more lighter version of an a1 steak sauce almost I'm really excited to try this too Oh, there's like this. I wonder if that's the molasses or something. I saw. There's like this deepness in this. This the this. Uh, maybe it's the habanero that has the earthiness too. I don't know. I've never had a chocolate habanero, so that's a really complex smell. You can smell a lot of things going on in there. I, I mean, there's this sweetness, and that must be the apples, or it could be the molasses. 
I can't forget the, the cacao. Or cocoa. I'm not cacao. Cacao! Cacao! Anyway, let's do some uh, Black Eyed Susan Spice Company's Death by Chocolate. It's starting to drip. Cheers. Whoa. 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 That. Okay. Yeah, they won a, a, a Scovy Award in 2021 for this. I totally see why. That was awesome. The heat is ramped up pretty good. It's not blowing me out. It's just nice and it's nice in there. It's letting me know. A little stingy. Coating my tongue. The initial flavor was like a... I don't even know how to describe it. It was like a firework finale of stuff going on in my mouth. You could taste the the, the cacao. You could taste the, the, the pepper. You could taste the... What else is in here? The vinegar. Um, oh, yeah, the molasses. And a little bit of the apples. You got like this. It was just really super flavorful. And, and it was just like dancing across my, my tongue. It was super good. The heat's pretty good. I like this heat on this. Got a hiccup, actually. I saw they invented a straw to get rid of hiccups. So this is pretty warm. A little glass fogging, little perp pers perspiration going down my throat a little bit. Super good though. It's not overpowering to me. Um, on my scale, of one to ten, I'm gonna put this at about a two for me. Um, definitely hotter than the last one. If you have trouble with um, like a Tabasco habanero hot sauce, I would not. This is gonna be hotter, so this could test you a little bit. Super good. Let's get into the review, the the ranking and review of it. So, when it comes to the dread factor on this, I was I was a little bit worried because I wasn't sure where the chocolate habanero was at on a heat scale compared to like a seven pot pepper, which I know is up there. Um, I wasn't I was just an unknown. So for dread factor, they're getting a five. Uh, the first impression of this sauce though was really good. I love the label. I love the look of the sauce, the color, uh, the smell was super great. The consistency was creamy, and you know, it wasn't too thin. Um, and it's it smelled smelled amazing. So, for the first impressions, I'm gonna go ahead and give them an eight point two five. The taste was just out of this world. It was a symphony of flavor going on and i couldn't have been more happy with with the taste of it the balance of it uh the vinegar and the spices and the apples and the sweetness and the molasses it just all works it works really well with the cacao 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 it works really well so again for that they're gonna get an 8.75 um, the heat was really good. I enjoyed the heat on this. It was hotter than the last one, but it really didn't blow me out. On my scale, as far as like where would I put that at, as far as heat goes, it was like about a two. If that. It was maybe maybe more even 1.5, but I'm going to give them a two. I could technically eat this the entire meal. Um, it's going to be it's going to be cumulatively hotter. And I'll probably be sweating a little bit by the end of the meal, but I definitely could enjoy a whole meal with this on there. 
Um, and that puts their usability factor up a little higher. I'm going to put them, but it's going to be a little bit on the lower side of a full meal. So I'm going to put them in a seven. And then would I repeat this sauce? The cost is there. The flavor's there. It's, it's del- you know, it's delicious. And the only thing that keeps me in the unknown for this is the shipping and the availability. Um, so I'm going to give them a 7.75. That brings their total cumulative score to 38.75. And that makes their ranking score a 6.46. All right. Let's get into the Trinidad time bomb. While developing hot sauces, we immersed ourselves in Caribbean cooking techniques and flavor directions. During our journey, we learned about the wonderful blend of cultures, ethnicities, and foods in Trinidad and Tobago. Rarely do so many people from across the globe coexist and blend their cuisines quite like this. We wanted to use the native yellow seven pot pepper to make a sauce that showcases these diverse flavors and can transport you to every kitchen on the island. Bam, dude. We got pineapple juice, rice vinegar, bananas, yellow seven pot mash, lemon juice, yellow onion, garlic, kosher salt, thyme, Spices, citric acid, and xanthan gum. This is the first one they've used xanthan gum in. Let's check it out. This looks even more creamy and thick. Don't you think? I bet it's going to be good. I really like the color of this, too. It's really uh, that nice yellow color. And I don't think I've ever had a Trinidad... uh, seven pot either so i'm excited to try this just for the whole thing and i can smell this as soon as i open the bottle it smells really good oh look at that that almost looks like a uh, mustard right like a tablespoon of mustard almost oh dude i can't wait to try this very creamy looking Totally, you can smell the thyme. You can t- you can totally smell it. It smells really like good and savory. I was expecting it to have like a more of a sweet kind of thing going because of the pineapple and banana, but I mean, there's a little bit of a sweet smell, but the thyme is really up front. So I'm really kind of curious about how this is kind of hit. All right. Black Eyed Susan Spice Company Trinidad Time Bomb. Cheers. Heat's ramping up. More focused like in my tongue. The flavor though was... Wow. I I just need a minute. To kind of take that in. Delicious. Um, after after doing the other one, going into this one, my dread factor wasn't really that much higher. I just was thinking Seven Pot's going to be a lot hotter. So they get a 5.5 for the dread factor. First impressions, color, consistency, everything about this was just pretty like I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Um, so first impressions got a seven for me on this one, you know, and especially once I smelt it, I was like, wow, this is going to be an experience. The flavor, I was, I I love it. You, you could taste the pineapple, the banana, the garlic, like you could taste like everything in there. There's some other spices, but the thyme was definitely up in the, up in the driver's seat and everybody else was like crammed into the into the flavor car along with them so super good super balanced um not too salty i pre- i appreciate when a salt when there's when there's not a lot of like salt blowing you out in a sauce so i appreciate that um so for this the taste i'm giving them a nine on the taste for this because it was that delicious the heat, the heat's pretty good. It's, it's. I'm gonna say it's probably about the same though. It's just a bit of a different type of burn, 
more like a, like a coal instead of a sting. I mean, there was a little bit of a sting, but more like a hot coal-y kind of burn. But nothing that blew me out or anything. So they're getting a two for, for the heat on that. I could totally use this for an entire meal. Totally, I love the flavor, and this would be really good. I know, and I don't, I don't eat meat, but if if I was eating meat like I used to, I would put this on turkey, to be honest, or add it. Yeah, like I feel like on a turkey sandwich or something, this would just be like out of the out of the, out of control. But otherwise, I would use it on everything, and I would definitely be able to eat a whole meal with it. So, for, the, for that fact. I'm going to put usability at a 7. Um, repeatability of this is, is a little bit higher. I'm going to even give it a little bit higher than the last one because I love the flavor of this. I love the direction. It wasn't overpoweringly sweet and fruity. It was super balanced and everything. Um, I, I would totally buy it again. I'm going to give it an 8 on that. The burn's doing really well. It totally has plateaued. It, yeah, I love this. I love this sauce, I think. And I realize I messed up on the scoring. Their their first impression score was not a seven; it was a uh, eight point seven five. Their total score then, cumulative, is forty point two five, and that gives them a ranking score for the honest sauce ranking chart of six point seven zero. Cacao. And if you're wondering about the rating chart again, like I suggest, go check out my video on my ranking system <laughs> if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. And you know what? If you guys have a better idea, let me know. I would like to hear it. I would like to accommodate everybody's wishes, but this is kind of like where I'm coming from when I when I taste the sauce and what I think about and everything. So um Overall, man, Black Eyed Susan Spice Company, definitely go check out their website. The link will be in the description. Um, I recommend checking out their sauces. I do. Um, now for the fun part, if you guys have made it all the way to this part of the video, I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and then go ahead and... Um, hit the notification bell that'd be great and i can't think of anything else to tell you except maybe check out my patreon page you can do that the link is uh, in the description as well as i can just tell you it's a uh, patreon backs forward slash honest sauce go check it out appreciate it uh, if you have any suggestions for any sauces you can leave those in the comments i would love to hear any comments whatsoever that would be great uh the next hot sauce i'll be reviewing is da bomb ghost pepper hot sauce so stop by and check it out i got the whole family of da bomb sauces that i'm going to be doing and this is the first one so make sure you stay tuned for that and other than that man check out uh black eyed susan spice company uh take care of yourself love yourselves treat yourselves awesomely and everybody around you and make sure you're getting more hot sauce and spicy stuff because that makes the world a better place all right i'm out of here love you guys peace